Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 12th video in VCPA data center virtualization 2023 video and in this video I am going to show you how to create vSphere storage DRS cluster. So why why basically you need a data store cluster. So let's say if you have a multiple data store with different different size okay and you and you have deployed multiple virtual machine and all the data stores and let's say if one data store getting fold or if one data store get uh, having the high latency throughput or some some issue with the latency and then you will not be able to identify basically you, you have to identify uh, issue manually and then move the virtual machines uh, from one data store to another data store to make sure you have enough free space in one particular data store all the time or uh, the data data uh, basically distributed across all the data stores of available data store equally and they all are performing well in terms of latency and all so two important things um, first one is the performance which where the latency comes in place and second is the storage capacity and all so how how you can create and enable these features to make sure your data store infrastructure or uh, you can say your storage infrastructure of your vmware infra having all the all the optimal performance all the time and it has everything optimized to give best performance for all the virtual machine or workloads which in, uh, which is running basically inside your vmware infrastructure so let's see how we can do it so in this picture you can see we got three storage uh, three data store for each 500 gb and there was multiple virtual machine like this uh, first one having three virtual machine uh, first three having three virtual machine and last one having five virtual machine so let's say if this virtual machine size is less and if it's combined equally uh, in the same size of like these three then it's fine if one of the virtual machine is uh, doing high high read uh, read write and uh, giving some latency or a hard time to this data store then the data store cluster cluster are automatically going to you know pick the all the attributes and parameter from the performance and all and then it will take decision based on your configuration how uh, what recommendation is required if it's set to automatic it will migrate machines from one data store to another data store automatically automatically so we are going to see this how you can configure with the advanced option and how it can be optimized and all so this is the same infrastructure which we use in last our uh, video so one is uh, first machine is uh, our domain control or dns server second machine is our windows iscc server and i got two asxi hosts uh, and one uh, vcenter server running on asxi host one so let's see so this is our infrastructure now in last video we have created and added two learn in each data each esxi host with the size of uh, 1.5 terabyte so now i am going to create a data store cluster so first you need to go on data store and then you will see all the you know these local uh, data store and all the data is data store which is mapped in your environment so first thing i am going to create one folder let's create one folder here and name it local ds so you can move all the local data store in this uh, folder to make sure your uh, this thing is going to look like something clean so what happened i don't know just refresh it okay it's not created let's try one more time new folder storage folder and then local ds and click ok so now you can see local storage when we created local storage for it's got created so i'll move all the local storage here to make sure we have a clean infrastructure now i can minimize this now this is also a local storage which is attached to an uh, esxi host one so i'm going to move this also now i got two data stores which is coming from our iscc sun set so now i'll go ahead and create basically from here you can go to storage and then you can create a new data store cluster okay so i'll put the data store name uh, so this is going to be a prod ds cluster 
okay and data store type which type of data store it is so this is new uh, nfs 3 nfs 4 is a new method so i'm going to use vmfs and uh, turn on storage drs click next and now if you see you have a recommendation like no automation manually it, it is going to show you the all the recommendation for virtual machines storage but that is not nothing is going to be uh, performed automatically so you can set it like fully automated or no uh, no automation as per your requirement so i'm going to use here uh, for uh, space balance automation i'm going to select full means if there is anything related to a space it need to balance it will automatically balance uh, and then io balance automation i am going to set this also full and rule enforcement automation level is going to be full so performance uh, policy informants also you can take full or vm eviction automation level full so based on requirement you can configure these things so i'm going with the fully automated uh, related with all five options and data store uh, drs uh, runtime schedule so so this is related to like if you want to enable io matrix of sdrs recommendation yes you know so this is what it going to be uh, you know do so any sdrs recommendation or automation migration uh, uh, in the data store cluster so this is what it going to you know uh, uh, consider the matrix and all so this is uh, about uh, io latency so if minimum uh, minimum 15 ms latency it's going to consider and it, it's not going to trigger anything if the latency is 15 ms so this is by default for you know vmware if you want to reduce it you can reduce or in, you can increase as per your requirement so threshold currently it's set to 80 percent means if there is a more than 80 percent then it's going to uh, take any task related to you know utilization so you can configure it to let's say as per your requirement you can configure it to 70 percent also and if you want to set a minimum free space you can do that also it will not consider a uh, space percentage then it it is going to consider your space in gb so i'm going to i'm okay with the 70 percent so click next now it's going to tell you what host or what data store you want to select cluster and all so i got four hosts so i'm going to select four hosts then click next and now it's going to tell you the all the data stores so you can select all the data so you to, which you want to become a part of this data store cluster so click next and now you are ready just click on finish so it is basically go ahead and create your data store so you can see the uh, balance capable yes or no that is saying okay uh, these all hosts are capable for you know i load balancing uh, the feature and then capacity free capacity everything you can see so i'm going to click on finish so now you can see the prod hyphen ds underscore cluster is created and you can see the size of you now cluster uses uh, cluster capacity and users it's now 300 approx uh, 3000 tb and uh, gb and you can see the cluster store resource utilization use space 2.86 gig and all the other parameters you can see here so so if once this is in utilization you can see the percentage also and also it will show you the virtual machines how many virtual machines you have how many templates you have what is the threshold we have configured 70 percent utilization and 15 percent ms and storage uh, drs is fully automated and all so you can see all the, this, this detail and if you go to monitor also you can see if there is any alert triggered okay connectivity you can see if there is a virtual machine cluster you can see all these details and if you have configured it to not manual uh, uh, not automated malware basis the manual config uh, recommendation and all it is going to show you all the recommendation here and if there is any uh, fault related to sdrs it will show you here and this is the history anything related to sdrs has been performed is storage drs history you can see from here configuration side again if you want to modify anything you can go here and change the settings vm overwrite something which if you want to exclude any vm out of this you know uh, thing then it will show you here so currently i ca cannot exclude anything because it, uh, no virtual machine is there i can show you these things later on then we have a rules also if you want to create any rule 
like move this virtual machine to NT infinity or infinity VMDK infinity so you can apply those rules also I'll, I'll show you these also if you have any schedule task you can create basically schedule task also to run uh, run at the given time of interval or whatever you want to run then it will show you all the host which is connected to this cluster VMC we don't have anything data store which is part of this cluster so this is all about how you can create and cast, uh, you know configure your uh, storage cluster so it, it is highly recommended go and uh, do some research on your infrastructure what type of settings you need uh, you know what type of threshold you need to set for utilization what type of threshold you need to set for you know i will let nc and all based on that and that thing only you can go and set the uh, threshold and also uh, I, i'll always recommend you to not go for a fully automated first configure it as a manual and then analyze your environment how many recommendations you are getting and uh, and fix all the recommendations manually few times and once you you understand okay all the all the like uh, uh, you have con uh, you have uh, configured uh, data store or you have cleared the data store which can survive uh, and match your threshold value and i was um, you know latency and all then you go ahead and configure it at uh, fully automated mode so the thumb rule is go and configure manual first and once you have uh, you got something like like a recommendation and all follow that recommendation clean your environment first and then once you have a confidence then go ahead and enable the fully automation for the storage drs so this is all about how to create and configure as storage drs so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post my mind given mail ids thank you once again bye bye